Hi everyone, I'm Coach Roseanne. Welcome to the San Francisco 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you'll get the inside scoop to get you ahead in the game. At 49ers EDU, we bring football to life through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We do this to show you how these subjects are found in every part of our lives and how important they are to our future. We need people just like you who come from different backgrounds, cultures, and experiences to share their innovative thinking with the world. With a diverse group of people sharing a variety of interests and skills, we can learn from each other and come up with ideas and solutions. Today we're going to focus on math, how we measure things, some of the tools that we use to do that, and also how important math is to football. We measure things such as the size of the field, how close we are to the goal in scoring a touchdown, we even measure things like how far and how high the players can jump. And we use math to count the players on the field and also how many fans are in our stadium at a game. One of the jobs that is very important to our organization is Vice President of Finance, Jeff Fong. One of the many things that Jeff does is keep track of how much money the team makes and how much money the team spends. If you have access to our digital playbook or a printout, we're going to focus on page 16 in this video. This video shows how we measure the length, width, and height of football equipment and how we can use these measurements to help us at home determine some things like the size of the clothing that we need. I'll explain some of the terms I mentioned in case you're not familiar with them. Length is the distance along an object from end to end. Width is the distance from one side of an object to the other side. Height is the distance from the lowest point to the highest point of an object or a person. Here's an extra point for all you stellar students. In math, we can also describe items as being bigger or smaller, or greater than or less than. Let's talk a little more about the definitions and ideas that I mentioned. If you look around the people in your family, they're all different sizes, need different size clothing and different size shoes just like the players on our team. In order to know that we have the right size clothing, we need to measure the height and width of a player. And to make sure that their cleats fit comfortably, we need to know how long their foot is and how wide their foot is. There's several tools that we can use to do this. A few you may have in your home is possibly a ruler. A ruler is divided into inches on one side. Those are the larger numbers. And centimeters on the other side. Those are the smaller numbers. Here in the United States, we use inches to measure things. Another tool we can use is called a tape measure. If you have either a ruler or a tape measure, you can find some items around your home to practice your skills in measuring. Remember, place the ruler or tape measure on one end starting at zero and stretch it across to the other side. That's how you would determine the length of an item. If you want to know how wide something is, take your ruler or tape measure and stretch it from front to back, and that's how wide something is. Now that you've had some practice measuring, I think you're ready to do the activities on page 16. If you haven't gotten the page open or printed out the sheet, let's do that now. I'm going to guide you through the activities on page 16 to help you understand what they're asking you to do. Measurement is used throughout the game of football. Besides measuring the equipment and the size of players, we also measure the field. We also need to know how far away from the goal we are. These are very useful measurements when playing the game. The first activity on the page asks you to measure some equipment. If you don't have those particular items, you can find other things around your house that might be similar. For example, if you have a bicycle helmet, you can measure that instead of a football helmet. And instead of a jersey, you can measure one of your own shirts. Next up on the page, we have a space to measure yourself, a friend, a sibling, or a parent. You can measure height, how long one arm is, and maybe even how long from one tip of one finger stretched all the way to the other tip of the finger on the other hand. The last activity on this page is comparing items. For example, a flower is smaller than a tree, and the number 10 is greater than the number three. When an object or number is smaller than another, we use a symbol called less than. It looks like the letter V on its side with the closed end pointing to the smaller object or number. 
If it is bigger than another, the open end will point towards it. I hope you learned something new today and had fun doing it. Take your time completing this page and please ask a grown up for help if you need. When you're finished, you'll be an expert in measuring things. You'll be able to use what you've learned today to explore differences in size and comparison. Keep working through the pages. This information that you just learned will help you tackle the rest of the book. We're all scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, and mathematicians. You just may not know that yet. If you choose a career in STEAM, what you learn today may help you change something and improve it for the world. So please, practice what you've learned. And we'd love for you to share your photos and videos with us. You can share them at hashtag 49ersedu or at 49ers community, or you can even email directly to us at edu at 49ers.com. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.